Welcome back guys to another episode of my my team career mode. This is season uh three with episode five with Alpine and today we are going in Miami for round number five. And as usual I will see you guys after this run. Not the best timing so far. I don't really have a good feeling about this one. Oh, it was actually good enough for second place. Well, uh, well, that's that's rather good. We split the two Red Bulls. Take we take P two with Jacob Perez ahead of us in pole position. Anyways, let's get to the race itself. From the back of the grid, we have Snoda, Magnussen, Sargent, Albon, Ricardo, starting to go knocked out early, Hockenberg, Joe, Piastri, Bottas, Norris, Hamilton, Russell, Stroll, Gasly, Leclerc, Alonso, Verstappen, myself and Perez. Both of us Alpine doing rather well, so let's see how this race goes. It's a good start for us, we're going to check into the right a little bit to keep opposition from Verstappen. We're going to use ERS to power pass Sergio Perez and now we're up into the lead of the race. We give him enough space to work with there and that was a fair overtake so now we are comfortably leading the race. Jaco Perez putting the pressure on, keeping within about like two tenths of us most of the time. But now we're going to start pulling away a little bit. As we set the best sector one so far. As Verstappen and Alonso are slowly falling back, Sergio Perez is keeping up with me while Verstappen and Alonso are not doing that. Well, I wonder what's happening. Sergio Perez still within two tenths of us. I, I don't think he poses a huge threat yet. So right now we're not going to defend him because I don't think he'll try to make a overtake right now. Right now it's just a very clean race. We're just going to stay ahead at the front. Uh, but it might be a little bit boring. As Chaco Perez, as I say that, he's trying to make a move on the inside. We're going to cover him off a little bit as we continue on with the race. Mm. 
as he now pulled away one second away from Checo, which means Checo will not have DRS on us if the distance stays within one, uh, more than one second apart on the last lap. Oh, but we hit the barriers. That might cost us. That might cost us. Sergio Perez is closing in from the back. He hits our rear wing slightly. He obtains more damage as Verstappen will be the one passing him. And all of a sudden, we find ourselves at huge pressure from Verstappen. Verstappen almost two tenths behind me only. Verstappen going left, going right. Which way is he going to go? He's going to stick behind us because he has no space to work with. As Sergio Perez now is trying to make a move on Max Verstappen. Alonso is trying to get into the mix behind. But not quite enough space there. As we approach the next corner properly. Alonso gets past Verstappen. Sergio Perez does as well. Which means it's Perez now but up into P2. Alonso is in P3 and Verstappen is in 4th. Great action between these three. As now once again. Sergio Perez is on our tail, but we're going to try to pull away with our ERS. Sergio Perez tries to make a move on the left. We're going to defend that. He makes a move on the right. We defend that as well. Rather clean racing still. Not doing any funny business. As we continue keeping the lead. But we're bunching up the pack now with the amount of fighting we're having. Sergio Perez putting on the pressure. He's less than two tenths away from us. He's going to try to make an overtake on the left, on the right, on the inside, on the outside. We can't do anything there. He's just following the racing line. There's no way to overtake. As we're now holding a train of people behind us. Sergio Perez once again tries to move on the left. He doesn't quite make it. He's going to try on the right. I will defend him more properly. He goes left to the right and then left. And we approach the next corner properly without him overtaking us. The gap between us is almost less than two tenths. The gap to Alonso is also less than four tenths now. This is incredible stuff. We, anyone here could take the lead. And the positions here could change any time. As we set our personal best sector two. As we try to pull away from Sergio Perez. I think Verstappen has dropped off a cliff massively now. Uh, he's no longer in contention for P2. But two people who are Sergio Perez and Fernando Alonso, both of them doing rather well. Sergio Perez still keeping out of me within two tenths of me. But after all of that, we approach the final straight using all our ERS left to win the Miami GP. Alonso, after all that, takes the fastest lap. And our teammate ends up P6, a pretty decent result result for our team. And let's see where that will put us in the standings. In the driver's championship, we extend our lead even further, but in the constructors, we're still in P4. But that's all for today. If you guys like, uh, enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.